Today we have the new PJ Masks cereal. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. Here on this channel, I do a lot of food and product reviews. Like I said, today we have the PJ Mask cereal. Just came out from General Mills. Found this at Walmart, and it was $3.64 for this box. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I had no idea who PJ Mask was. I had to look it up to figure out. I figured, I was like, I, it seems familiar. Disney Junior, I'm thinking that's what it is. Here in the States, it's on Disney Junior. And I'm just gonna read you the premises from Wikipedia because like I said, I've never seen the show, so I really don't know anything about it. Um, and if I get these names wrong, throw in the comments below, let me know. Amaya, Greg and Connor become superhero team PJ Mask when night falls in order to fight the enemies and rivals such as Romeo, Luna Girl, Night Ninja, the Wolfie Kids, Matsuki, Octobella, Feral Boy, and Monkey Goo or Monkey Goo to keep them from ruining people's days. Amaya becomes Owlette, an owl, so that would be her over here. Greg becomes Gecko, a lizard. And then Connor becomes Cat Boy, a cat. Okay, Midnight Berry with marshmallows. Okay, uh, nutrition facts, 13 servings per container. Serving size is one cup, 140 calories with just the cereal. If you add uh, skim milk, 180 calories. All right, so let's try this out and see how it is. Oh, we even got a mask back here if you wanna cut that out and become part of PJ Mask. I'm not gonna do that. What's your superhero name? All right, let's, let's, let's just do this real quick. Use the chart below to take the month you were born and the first letter of your name to uncover. I mean, this guy, kids, isn't there like, you know, other names you can look up, put in, you know, I wanna go into it. Um, so if you want your superhero name, the month you're born in, September, so I'm detective. The other options were Zoom, Incredible, Mystery, Leapin, or Mega. I'm Detective. And then the first letter of your last name, which would be M. So I'm Detective Leopard. That's my superhero name. Man. Why couldn't it have been Cat? Like Mega Cat. Or Incredible Cat. Mystery Cat. Mm, no, I'm Detective Leopard. Okay. And I will put that up. Can you see it? There we go. There you go. So you can figure out what your mystery, or yeah, your superhero name is. Leave it down in the comments below. Let me know what your superhero name was. Did you like it or not? Detective Leopard. Not happy with that. Kind of, I don't know if just because it's purple, it's, making me think grape that I'm smelling. I don't know, probably not. I like how this one, typically cereals on the box, will show you the cereal, like it's really good, like the marshmallows and everything are like perfect. Let me show you over here. Let me look at it real quick. Uh, I think, from what I'm seeing on this, and let me know if I'm wrong. I think the cereal itself, the purple ones, are real. Clearly the milk is fake, and even the marshmallows, those are drawn in. They're not even showing you real marshmallows. So clearly, in large to show detail, colors and shapes may vary, well, because you just drew them in. They're not even real, because here's the, here's that. I mean, Kind of get the shape of a thunderbolt. Your star, or is this a star or a starfish, or I don't know. And what's the other one? Uh, what is this? And you, you probably know if you watch the show what these shapes are supposed to be. I mean, what is this? I'm a snake or something? I don't. I don't know. If you know what the shape is supposed to be, is this is this a starfish? A lightning bolt, I'm guessing. Um, what's the green guys? It looks like a little, like a snake or something. 
Okay. Tastes good. Almost tastes like cotton candy. Yeah. I mean, that's what that marshmallow tastes like was cotton candy. Let's hope the rest of the cereal is good. And will it make purple milk? At least there is a lot of marshmallows in here. Okay, once you get that first bite out of the way, it's fine. You get used to the flavor, it just tastes like a cereal. Clearly, it's a berry, grapeish. You know, there's probably not grape in here, but that's when I took that first bite, I was making that face because I was like, this reminds me of something. Grape flavored medicine is the flavor I was getting when I took that first bite. And I was like, oh, that's not good. Cereal reminded me of medicine, but then after, by the time I got the second bite, I wasn't getting that anymore. Okay. I think I'm good with that. I don't know how I feel about this. It's different than, man, I'm trying to, like I it was reminding me of medicine. Usually when I eat a cereal, it's like, oh, that tastes like tricks or it reminds me of some other cereal. This doesn't remind me of any other cereal. This Midnight Berry, it's hard to describe the flavor. It's different than anything else out there. I would recommend getting this just to try it out. The first bite threw me off. I haven't had great kids medicine in probably, I don't know, 30 years. So that just brought like a brief like flashback memory of that taste when I first took that first bite. After that, it was gone. It was just, I don't know. It's, it's different tasting. I don't love it. I like it in the fact that it's so different than other cereals out there. A lot of times when they come to these gimmicky ones based on a TV show or cartoon or whatever, or some celebrity or something, it's just a random generic cereal that tastes like pretty much every other cereal out there. This doesn't. Let me get another one of those marshmallows. Do they all taste like cotton candy? I can't stop eating them so good. The marshmallows are really good. Kind of a cotton candy taste. Although when you're eating it with a cereal, that midnight berry covers up that flavor of those marshmallows. So you're not getting that kind of cotton candy taste of it. I Again, I like it because it's so different than any other cereal, but at the same time, I don't know how I really feel about that midnight berry. It's just, maybe because it's reminding me of medicine. Throw it down in the comments below. What did you think of it? If you've tried this, what did you think the taste was? Again, once I got through that first bite, it wasn't a medicine taste anymore. Let me try, it's probably getting all soft and soggy now. It has a really strong berry taste to it. I can't pinpoint what berry it is. It's a midnight berry, whatever a midnight berry is. Maybe like a mix of a, say anything in here in the ingredients? Probably not. If you know what that midnight berry is supposed to taste like, maybe a mix of a grape, a blueberry, something like the darker berries, I, I'm guessing. I don't know. It's, it's different. Again, I'm gonna rank this on a scale of one to 10. I'm gonna go like a six. Like it's not horrible. I could eat that and finish it. Um, if I put this in the cupboard next to say like Captain Crunch or Apple Jacks or something like that, I'm gonna go to those before I went to this. So it's different, it's unique, but it's not something I'm gonna come back to. But then again, that's just me and my taste profile and what I like and what I don't like. And this is just, I mean, I'll say it for the third time. I like it because it's different, but I don't really like it because the taste is just a little, I don't know, a little weird for me. But try it out for yourself. Again, especially if your kids like this show, if they watch it, they're gonna wanna eat the cereal. Maybe kids will like that. Maybe, I don't know. If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. 